quadratic model, rectangular pen. A rectangular pen is made with 100 meters of fencing on three sides. The fourth side is the side of a barn. Find the greatest possible area of such an enclosure. We're going to use a quadratic function to model the area. With this model, we will be able to determine the dimensions of the pen and the maximum area. But first, let's take a little helicopter ride. Please fasten your seat belts. I'm a lousy van driver and even worse helicopter pilot. Besides, we might hit some unexpected turbulence. What we're going to do is get up out of the airport here at Fort Devon and go hover above the barn at Dibbet Hill so we can take a good look at what we're trying to do. He here we are above the airfield. Look, there's the Groton School. Let's keep going. We're going to go to Lawrence Academy. There's 119 Main Street. Oh, yeah, Route 40. Route 40 and 119. Yes, there's Lawrence Academy. Let's get in a little bit closer. Ah, yes, let's get closer still. I hope I don't hit one of those air pockets. Oh, man. Oh, hold on. This is one of those air pockets. Ah, oh, phew, we're coming back. We're coming back. I think we should just cut to the chase. All righty then. Here we are hovering over the barn at Dibbet Hill. And what we're going to do is build a rectangular pen on the end of the barn. To help us out, we'll call the width x and the length y. And you know the area is simply x times y. But wait a minute. We have too many variables here. We know there's 100 meters of fencing. So that means 2 times x, both sides, plus y has to equal 100. Or in other words, y is equal to 100 minus 2x. And so this area is much better represented by x times 100 minus 2x. And that's the quadratic function that we are going to use. So let's put that function into our calculator. y equals y equals x times 100 minus 2x. And that should give us a good representation of the area. Let's set our domain and range. Well, x and 100 minus 2x, neither of those can go negative. So I'll say negative 10 for x, only to make a margin, and 60 for the x max with an x scale of 10. Now, I really have no clue how high it's going to go. So I'll just leave it at negative 10 and maybe guess, just guess, it's going to be as high as 100. And a scale of 10. And then let's take a look at that. Oh, clearly it's higher than 100. Now, I've done this problem before. So again, cutting to the chase. So my y value. Again, I like margins. So I'm going to put negative 500 for a y min. For a y max, I'm going to put 1,500. And for a y scale, I will choose 500. Now, the beauty of the margins is when I do my other work, the printing in the calculator will not cover the picture. So what do we need to do? We need to find the vertex. So second, calc. And the vertex will either be at a maximum or a minimum for the for the quadratic, in this case, a maximum. So left bound. Put the cursor somewhere to the left of the max. Enter. Right bound. Put the cursor somewhere to the right of the maximum. Enter. Guess. Put the cursor where you think it's going to be. Enter. And it tells us, ooh, an x value of 25 will give a y value of 1,250. Now be careful, that's not the same y that we had before. Let's go back. Let's remember that. The x equals 25 and, y e and the area equals 1,250. So 
from what we did on the calculator, x equals 25. We can take this value and plug it in to find y. y equals 100 minus 2 times 25, 100 minus 50, or 50. This y is the dimension of the barn. x is 25, y is uh, 50. So the area equals 25 times 50, which is equal to 1,250. We knew that from before. So the dimensions of the pen are 25 times 50, and the area is 1,250. The dimensions, these were done in meters, but the area is in square meters. Now it's your turn. Instead of making one pen, let's make three identical rectangular pens still using the side of the barn exhibit here. If you pause, you won't get my hint. If you don't pause, I will show you. Here's the side of the barn. We need to put fencing and make three identical pens. Rectangular. I'll call this whole long side Y, and each of those individual sides, x. That's all the hint I'm going to give you. You take care. Have fun. Ciao for now.